Welcome to the KSNS.News Show. My name is Olivia. This is the news for the week of April 26, 2021. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great week, Set Stallions. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be kind. Hello, my name is Haley. Here's what's happening at SAW this week. Today, after school, News Team B will meet for planning. Day Without Hate is Thursday. Make sure to wear your Day Without Hate t-shirts or wear a white shirt. This is also a good day to do a random act of kindness for somebody, for someone, but try to be kind every day. There is no school for students on Friday. Enjoy your long weekend. Let's check in with Mason and see what the weather will be like this week. Hi, Dutch Stallions. Here's the weather for this week. On Monday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 45. On Tuesday, there will be showers with a high of 56 and a low of 39. On Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 38. On Thursday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 43. And lastly, on Friday, it will be... It will be partly cloudy with a high of 69 and a low of of 45. Have a great week, st- Stallions. Remember to show respectful, responsible, and kind. Here is Miss Blackley to announce this week's wrist wristband winners. These are all students who have demonstrated respectful, responsible, and kind behaviors last week. Keep up the good work. Hi, Stott Stallions. This week, um, we are congratulating Miss Heisel's class, who was able to win a class party of a donut and a movie. That sounds great. For our wristband winners this week, we will start with Miss Snedekor's class, Connor, Sophie, and Anna. In Miss Hostetler's class, Andrew R., Gideon A, Olivia T. In Ms. Ziner's class, we have Andrew S, Juliet M, and Kenzie D. In Ms. Bagus' class, we have Wyatt S, Jillian O, and Ariana K. And in Ms. Heisel's class, Analia L, William B, Jude P. And finally, in Ms. Kiefer's class, Tim S, Myla K and Addie C. All right, Stott Stallions, keep being respectful, responsible, and kind. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Here's Brady with the birthdays for this week. Hello. Here, here are the kids who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Clara M in second grade, Adam S in third grade, Garrett C in kindergarten, Zed A in first grade, Grace S in third grade, Olivia R in second grade, and me in fifth grade. Happy birthday, everyone! Speaking of birthdays, Mrs. Globish has a new baby girl named Olive. Olive was born on April 15th. Happy birthday, Olive! Scientists have discovered a six-foot-long kitefish shark in New Zealand that has a greenish-blue glow. This shark lives very deep in the ocean, as far down as 2,600 feet deep. Here's a video to tell you more about it. Scientists studying sharks off the coast of New Zealand have photographed one species that glows in the dark. The deep sea creatures are the largest known luminous vertebrates and the discovery puts the spotlight on one of the least explored ecosystems in the world. 
Well, let's find out more. Joining us now is Dr. Jerome Malafet, lead researcher at the Marine Biology Laboratory at the Louvain Catholic University, speaking to us from Belgium. Thank you very much. And congratulations on this finding as well. Tell us, what was it like when you discovered this species of shark that, that glows? Well, it was just a dream for me because uh, we know that, uh, oh, maybe not the people who knows, but out of 540 species of sharks, 57 are able to produce light, but these elusive sharks are living below 200 meters, so very difficult to observe and to get in good condition. And this one is the biggest one. He can measure 1.8 meter, which is bigger than me, in fact, and he's brighter than me because he's able to produce light. I'm not. How did you get down there to photograph them? Did the researchers have to go down or did the fish have to come up? No, the fish has to come up. In fact, uh, it's it's really difficult to get them in, in really good physiological condition for us. Uh, so I did the pictures in a dark room on board of a ship. Uh, we get the, the shark thanks to bycatch uh, of, of tro a trolling uh, expedition, estimating the hockey, which is a, a, a fisheries, uh, a, a fish very important in, in New Zealand. But they, they catch also all sorts of sharks during that, that campaign. And usually they are thrown back in the water, but for nothing. So we decided, oh, can we join and can we start a study on that? Because it, it, they are totally unknown for the moment. And that's how we succeed to get them. And seeing them glowing in the dark, I, I must tell you, I was just like crazy when I come out of my dark room. And I said, yes, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. And, and people then try to come in, in the lab because you can see it if you are dark adapted. This week's question of the week is, what is the opposite of a cold front? To answer, fill out the Google form on the Stott Library website. By the end of school on Tuesday. Thanks for tuning into Channel 121. For all the news that matters to stop, make every day count.